Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Pinewood Hills where we're starting a new pretty big project today to be honest with you. I ummed and ahed for a long time about this uh, but I feel like it is time for me to have a go at actually building a roller coaster. So um, just to remind you there are currently three coasters in the park. One of them was built by uh, Mike Sheets and Seven. One of them was built by Mass Bandy and one of them actually was built by me but it's pretty much a carbon copy of... Um, uh, of another one that I that I'd seen so this is the first time I'm actually really going to town and actually trying to build a, uh, a coaster. Um, a lot of you have been uh, mentioning the, the new coasters that came with the uh, Magnificence Ride DLC. Um, and, uh, to be honest with you, in some way or another, most of those would have fit into Pinewood pretty well because they're all sort of classic uh, coasters that you see a lot of and, and, and to an extent sort of budgety coasters as well, apart from maybe from the Mac, uh, the Mac Multi Lodge, but there's a few of those in the UK now as well. Um, so I decided to eventually go for the SLC, uh, which is made by Vacoma, and it stands for, uh, what's it stand for? Suspended thingy uh, looping coaster. Suspended looping coaster, right, SLC. Um, and uh, I'm basing this on the one that's currently at Blackpool Pleasure Beach by the name of Infusion, uh, but it was originally uh, called Traumatizer uh, when it was at Southport, I want to say. Southport, a uh, pleasure land at Southport. And um, uh, yeah, so this was pretty much upped and moved. Uh, from Southport when that kind of died a death, although it's still kind of going as a bit of a fair now, but the Traumatizer has now moved to Blackpool and it's known as Infusion, and it uh, turns out a very standard design. It's what they call a 689 meter standard model. Um, I'm not building it as an exact replica, mainly because I'm not good enough with the coaster builder to do that, basically. So I'm pretty much from... Um, uh, first person videos of it uh, from Google Maps, from some images I found online of the model uh, I'm kind of building a pretty close approximation of it, but again if you're here for a replica I I'm not the person, you there's many people out there who ask perfect to roller coasters in this game I am not one of them, uh, I'm just enjoying myself, but I did want to obviously try and do uh, it realistic at least so as far as height and uh, sort of floor plan goes it's pretty close and it ends up being relatively decent figures uh probably needs a little bit of little tweaking here and there but overall i'm quite happy with how it were it turned out it looks pretty good and i really wanted it to really look like it was just placed down here so whether or not we have uh, the law that it's moved from another park, which we could do, you know, it's a bit of a sort of nod to Infusion or Traumatizer, or whether or not, it, you know, it is just a, a sort of standard uh, off-the-shelf model of coaster that gets stuck into this uh, area. Uh, one thing I did want to make sure that we kind of get across with the law is that um, is that this, car this ride was placed in a lot later than this area was built. So this original area here will have mostly have been the sort of 60s uh, expansion, but I'd like the idea of this part this coaster going down around uh, the late 90s okay um because that's kind of when a big big load of these uh, these these coasters went out apparently according to according to a little bit of research that i've done so i really wanted to sort of have the idea that it was a bit squished in uh maybe this area was just sort of uh, field before or or, or um uh, trees before and it's kind of been leveled out and they've put down an off-the-shelf coaster down into kind of just to up the coaster count a uh, relatively cheap uh, way of putting a coaster in. You know, you you you're talking somewhere sort of uh, minus 10 million, less than 10 million for these sort of coasters. So um, in the grand scheme of things, not the biggest expensive coaster you can. So that's what I really wanted here. Just kind of a look. It's, you know, we haven't built anything since the 70s since the 80s maybe sort of like well no 90s area was the is the arrow area that uh, that mass bandit did but sort of since then later towards the end of that decade come on we need to do something here so an off-the-shelf coaster i kind of think fits a lot and that's the kind of law we're going to play with it once we actually get the um the sort of pinewood through the years billboard in we are still doing those as well uh, but that's kind of what I'm going for here. So it's going to be very lightly themed, very generic station. Uh, the main things I'm going to try here that I haven't really done before is, well, one, just building the coaster itself. Uh, but also, I'm going to try and do custom supports here as well because they have some really interesting supports coming down the uh, the first sort of uh, swervy drop there, the curved drop, um, which a lot of them 
disappear uh, because there's path underneath it so the automatic supports don't really work out so um, I'm gonna see here look all that is unsupported which is obviously not very realistic so gonna have to be doing some custom supporting and also we're putting a little bit of it underwater again a kind of nod to infusion infusion is actually pretty much completely over water um, to the point where I think they kind of advertise it as a oh the world's only coaster all over water or at least the world's first coaster completely on water or something ridiculous like that um, but it does have some nice little water moments where there's a few water spurts and it has also on the third inversion I think that's kind of like a half a vertical loop that then goes into a into like a helix I don't know I don't you know you're not watching this for coaster expertise let's be honest um, but they have this sort of waterfall that you, you, you it looks like your feet almost touch lots of foot choppers in this uh, in this ride which I think is quite cool so I'm going to try and use that like I say it's not going to be an infusion replica but I'm definitely going to be taking nods from uh, that infusion uh, to do that. But because it's on water, we're going to have to do custom supports because the uh, the supports in game uh, go through the water down to the to the base of the river or the base of the pond or whatever you want to call it, the lake. So um, so we are going to have to do some custom supports in there because obviously in real life the 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 the, uh, the concrete foundation actually uh, is is where the it comes above the water. Here I'm just having to do a little bit of adjust here because this area that was originally a bit of water will now have to be the queue for the chairlift which again we're going to have to do because we've kind of used this space up um, with the coaster but like I say I really wanted this coaster to look to literally just look like squeezed plonk boom, no no consideration of uh, anything else uh, to be honest just placed in and I also kind of like how close the uh, the cabins there get to it because again it's that really sort of uh, you know, dripping the money as much as possible. Oh, just stick a cabin right next to it, it's fine. You know, because these things aren't going to be running at night. Most parks in the UK close at around four or five. So, um, you know, you're still going to get a decent night's sleep. And also, you know, even though you're really close to that that um, coaster, if you're staying in that park, you're most likely going to the park in the daytime, so it won't bother you. And they can kind of sell it as a, oh, get amazing views of the coaster, uh, you know, that nobody else can get and all this. Again, the queue line runs pretty much underneath the ride and across the uh, the water in the infusion. So again, I'm kind of doing a bit of a nod to that there. Um, but obviously, this is pretty much just the coaster here. We're going to be doing the, um, the theming in the next part, uh, because although this seems like quite a short video there's actually about four hours work here this is the third full attempt at the park at the coaster and i've also cut a few different bits out as well where i was just spending ages on different inversions and stuff but so it looks quite short but actually there's uh, quite a lot of work gone in here so here we go here's here's a, a pov please just only really look at the ride here you know um, again, like I say, custom supports. We need to get the top of the chain lift back in. There is a really good uh, automated one, but it's disappeared, like I say, because of the uh, because of how the track sits underneath it. So we're going to do some custom supports on this, uh, and then do a really generic station and some nice, interesting stuff with the with the uh, the queue running under the block brakes and things like that. But uh, I think, like I say, I'm no coaster expert. I'm no per I'm not perfect at any of this. But I think it's actually turned out pretty uh, pretty well. So you start off, you get this weird like. Uh, vertical loop with an inversion throw in the middle you get a really big overbank turn and then here is where there's a waterfall underneath your feet which I love that we're definitely going to try and get in um, and then again there's a good chunk there where you don't really know whether you're face up or face down and then it finishes off with just like a big wide turn that comes into uh, a really long break run uh, you get a break run here you also get another one on the uh, on this next bit here that features your transfer track that ignore that thing sticking down that was just a security uh, camera that I used for some footage so whether or not we're going to be able to squeeze a transfer track in here which i feel like we should have um it may well be that we have to do a little bit of path work uh, around there but i really like the fact that we've squeezed a coaster in here and that it looks squeezed in because that really was the, what i wanted to go for here i wanted to uh, oh look uh, who's that come on that's bandit i can't see that. Beyondrew. Awesome. Beyondrew's playing a bit of Blanco there. Um, so there we go. There's a bit of a shot of it as well. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Any comments, queries, suggestions, please pop them down in the comments as well. And uh, if you fancy being a member of the Geekism community, you can check out the Discord. Uh, thanks to all of our patrons to make these videos possible. And to our affiliates, you can find some cheap games and other goodies in the description. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.